guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a mug cake recipe. It is, I've been recently doing this a lot because it's so easy to do and fun. And let's just begin. Anyways, uh, I really don't know. I think I'm doing a chocolate mug cake, good chocolate brownie mug cake-ish. So, yeah. So first thing you'll need is milk. Um, vanilla extract. But you know, not, not too much though. Baking powder, some ghee, and in American it's called butter, and chocolate chunks. And if you don't have chocolate chunks, you can just use normal like cocoa powder. Um, flour, and at last sugar. So. And oil, it, only if your batter thing is too thick. And also, if you want to decorate it up a bit, you can get your frosting or, and as a plug back so you can decorate it. So you're going to be using the cereal spoon today. So at first, you put your, you put the milk first, then you put the chocolate chunks in. Um, I really don't, I think it's like a third cup of milk, not like, or like a, like not too much. There you go. And you add at least you can add you can add, you can add as many chunks as you want. Or I really don't know the measurements for the um for the um what is it for cocoa powder. You put amount like of these chocolate chunks about five of them just so you can be more chocolate and del delicate del delicate. And delicate, I don't know. <laughs> so, I'll put this in the microwave and I'll show you how it is. Okay, so I thought I'd be doing it again. And the result came out of this, if you can kind of see it. It came like chocolate milk a bit. And, um, you just want to mix it up a bit. Perfect. There will be like mini chocolate chunks, but not too many. And we'll get a paper towel and we wash it off. Always keep, make sure your place is sanitary, uh, like looking sanitary as in like clean and make sure you wash your hands. In this case, I, okay. So let's put our dry ingredients in. Uh, you first take the flour. Let me put this aside, put these all aside. Let me just put my milk back in the fridge, and I'll be right back. And you put, you'll be putting two spoons of flour. And anyways, if you don't really catch up with me, it's okay, that's fine. I'll put a picture after this video, and that'll probably just result to how your cake is. This is one spoon and another spoon. Okay, you put this away. Then you do two spoons of sugar. Two. The sugar might come a little messy, but that's all right. And then, then you put a spoon of ghee or butter. Yeah. Then you put a some baking powder. I don't know if I said this when I was talking about the um, ingredients. You'll be putting at least like a small, like a dash of it. This will kind of also result to like salt as well, but not really. Then you will put at last your vanilla extract. You don't want to put too much of this because I will already. It's because we already had the chocolate in there. You put like. A splash, like not a splash, but like, like, it's not even that much, you know, it's okay. 
So then that's that. <clears throat> so then you use your spoon and you mix it up. I don't may put up too much milk in this. I'll put, I'll be right back and I'll put in another spoon and put more flour because I don't think that flour was enough. Enough for it to become like a drop. Usually that batter is supposed to become really dry. I think I put too much milk. So in this case, if your batter is too liquidy, then might as well just put another... Uh, oh, it's becoming more. Yeah, I think you should put more flour or any dry ingredient. I know you can't really see the consistent right now. cake and you have too much flour it's really it's not that it's really not a matter because it only matters about how many how much sugar you put in this because it's a milk cake and if you put too much sugar then it's not really that good for you so yeah my batter is still runny and liquidy i think i'm just gonna add like a one more cup and like a one and a half cup of flour and then i think we're good and you can just try from there There we go. That is so much more. I don't want to make a mess in the whole kitchen because the kitchen is actually really clean right now. And if you want to, if the flour, if you think the flour is gonna like, um, gonna like just make the whole taste so like flat and like you know like not like filthy and stuff, you can add more s sugar or the vanilla extract if you want. And it smells good, it smells fine. So, yeah, that's pretty much. I've never really done a baking video. I always done like imaginary ones, but I've never really done like an actual baking video. Like a baking, I don't know how you say it. Like a actual like, like showing that I'm, Baking. You always want to make you 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 may it's not there's no such thing as over mixing or like nothing like that because it's a bug cake and you don't want like any lumps or anything in your um batter of the mug cake so yeah I think next time I'll do a vanilla mug cake because or we do vanilla cakes usually so look at that nice chocolate. I mean, if you have the habit of licking your batter, I guess you can try, but don't eat too much of this because it's not that really good for you. Anyways. Anyways, so this is how the batter looks. And I'm going to put this in the microwave for about one and a half minutes. And we'll just take it from there. And right now I'm going to show you how I do my frosting. Well, that's microwaving. Get your frosting out, and I'm gonna be right back with a Ziploc bag. We mainly got the frosting because of mug cakes, because I do them a lot now, rather than making a real mug, like making actual cakes. So that's why I just, that's why I just do it. <laughs> so take your Ziploc bag, then, Take your, I think I, I take a scoop, or not too much. I put it back because I'm not the only one that's using the frosting. No one really else uses it. And if you don't, if you don't have frosting, if you have whipped cream, you can probably use that too. It's not that big of a deal. Here. We have another 30, 40 more seconds. So I think that's the Yeah. 
yeah, this is good enough for about, I don't like using a butter knife, I like to use like actual what bakers use, well, what bakers use in their kitchen, like they use like their pastry bags or whatever, so I have a support bag at home, so mine is as well just use that. I know I'm talking nonsense right now, but that was it, I guess. Oh, that's done. Okay. Let me just scrape this down. And then I'll show you how I'll cut my tip and then I'll do my decorating. Okay, the cake came out and it looked like this. And let me just take my end of spoon and I think I'm gonna put it for another like five more seconds maybe because this top part didn't really cook that much. You see the spoon still has some markings on it to cook it for a little longer. And whoa, that is really hot. So put it for five more seconds, or five, like, like seven seconds at least. And once it's back, I'll do the decorating. Or no, no, once, no, once it's back, you cool it down for like 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes or so, and then we'll decorate. Okay, let's put it back. I mostly use the microwave a lot. Whether no one will probably agree with me or not, but yes, I'm much done. Hold up, let me. I'll be right there. Please just wait. Yeah, my frosting is just the Betty Crocker. I'm holding this right Betty Crocker one, so it's not that. So we let this cool for about 10 minutes and um, I will show you the result and we'll also frost. Okay, it has been 10 minutes and now I'm gonna show you how I pretty much frost my um, cake. I won't show you guys it, but um, You just want to add like a lot, whoa. <laughs> oh my god. I'm like really craving for my cakes. I've been craving it for about a week, but then I just never had the heart to like do them really. Oh, I wrote 19 on there. I don't know why I did, but. No, I wrote 14. Oh, that makes sense. Let me just write. I'm just putting a lot of like dots everywhere and then I just kind of ruined the 14. Here, I'll show you guys. And I, I'm, I'm recording with my phone, so I think that's why it like it looks kind of um, weird and all. And if you want to waste your utensils or anything like that, just go for it. I personally don't like that, even though I did it like two seconds ago with like the spoons. Whoa, it fell. No, no, no. With the spoons and stuff, so. Whoa. Tastes good. So use your spoon and just, you know, just cover it around everywhere, you know, just make it like just welcome it everywhere just make it feel welcome you know like the this frosting and everything it may you may think it's too much frosting but it really isn't so um 
let's try this out, shall we? Okay, so the frosting kind of smushed because I just really spread it around. And as I said, it may look too much, but it really isn't, just for like a mug cake. So anyways, let's try it, shall we? You know, I said like, shall we like 10,000 times, so let's... Okay. See the frosting in the... bad i mean the frosting i think it was a little too much but other than that the cake actually tastes really good i think that i think i should ask, i should add less milk and add less and add less flour as well but anyways thank you for watching this week's video subscribe like comment if there if it's available look at my social medias and other descriptions and Bye.